Now, President Biden's surprise visit to Ukraine comes amid another major global challenge. The White House is alleging that China has been providing non-lethal support to Russia and that Beijing is also thinking about sending lethal aid. Secretary of State Antony Blinken made the allegations on Meet the Press after attending the Munich Security Conference over the weekend. Here's what he said. China's having, trying to have it both ways. Um, publicly, they present themselves uh, as a country striving for, for peace in Ukraine. Uh, but privately, as I said, we've seen uh, already um, over these, these past months uh, the provision of non-lethal assistance that does go directly to uh, aiding and abetting Russia's war effort. And uh, some further information that we are sharing uh, uh, today and that I think uh, will be out there soon that um, indicates that they are strongly considering providing lethal assistance to, to Russia. Um, to the best of our knowledge, they what haven't form? crossed that what line yet. What form is that? But as uh, we're sharing. Yeah, in what form? Um, Chuck, I, I, uh, Chuck, I don't want to get into the, the details in this, um, uh, in, this, in this moment, but there are various kinds of lethal assistance that they are at least contemplating providing to include weapons. I made clear the importance of not crossing that line and the fact that it would have serious consequences in our own relationship, uh, something that uh, we do not need uh, on top of the balloon incident uh, mm -hmm. that uh, China's engaged in. What kind of consequences are you talking about? What, what did you share with him? Look, I, I'm not, I'm not going to get into that, but I can again tell you that this is something that President Biden has raised directly with President Xi. Let's bring in Janice Mackey Freyer and Dan DeLuce for more on this. Dan, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit more about what the U.S. is alleging here. Do we know what kind of support China is said to have been providing? Well, we already know that the U.S. sanctioned a Chinese company that was accused of providing satellite imagery to the Wagner Group mercenaries that fight for Russia and Ukraine. And we have reason to believe that, it's, that this kind of non-lethal aid probably includes uh, body armor, uh, radio equipment, items like that. Uh, but they have not publicly listed what China has been doing. And now, of course, there's this concern that China is ready to cross that line and provide weapons and ammunition to, to Russia. So, Janice, how is Beijing reacting to these accusations from the U.S.? Well, Chinese officials are hitting back uh, at these accusations. Today at uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, a spokesperson said, quote, it is the U.S. who has been continuously providing weapons to the war. The U.S. is not qualified to give orders to China. Um, it, you can't help but think that there's perhaps no coincidence to the timing uh, of this suggestion by the Secretary of State. Uh, it comes as Wang Yi, China's top diplomat, is uh, expected to arrive in Moscow uh, to, among other things, lay the groundwork for a state visit to Russia by China's President Xi Jinping. Uh, China, the Secretary of State also said uh, he has spoken about consequences uh, to the relationship for U.S. and China. The U.S.-China relationship, as we know, is in a very precarious spot. Uh, it was fraught even before uh, the balloon incident. Now there's, there's no cooperation on any issue. There are no meetings happening at any level. At the same time, uh, we see the relations between China and Russia uh, growing closer and deeper. And Janice, we understand China is working on its peace plan for the war, which President Xi Jinping is expected to lay out in a speech later this week. Do we know what that could look like? Well, Wang Yi, the, the diplomat, said that uh, the position can be described as, quote, promoting peace talks. He said that in his speech in Munich. The issue, of course, is that it's uh, it's. It can be argued that China is not an impartial player uh, to, to be playing a key role uh, in peace talks uh, for Ukraine. The relationship has uh, grown ever closer. It was almost a year ago that Russian President Vladimir Putin was here, and uh, he made the declaration with Xi Jinping, men who have met more than 40 times, uh, this 5,000-word manifesto where they had a partnership with no limits. Uh, over the past year, 
we have seen trade ties deepen between China and Russia. China is a uh, uh, number one buyer of Russian energy. Uh, there has been trade in other goods. There have been joint military drills. At the same time, the relationship with the U.S. has deteriorated uh, to the point where since the balloon incident, uh, defense officials here aren't even picking up the phone line with the U.S. Um, all of this happening as China appears to be getting on with diplomatic business elsewhere. Last week hosting uh, Iran's president for, for deals and for talks. And of course, this uh, visit to Moscow by Xi Jinping that could happen as early as next month. And Dan, I mean, we know Secretary Blinken met with Yi, his Chinese counterpart, on the sidelines of the Munich conference. He brought up the alleged spy balloon incident. It was a pretty heated moment. What happened there? That's right, Joe. A very tense moment and really a relationship that more and more does resemble uh, the Cold War era with uh, both sides uh, possibly giving weapons to different sides in a conflict in Ukraine. In that conversation, Secretary Blinken made it clear that this was totally unacceptable to have that spy balloon fly across the continental U.S. and violate U.S. airspace. But he did not hear uh, his Chinese counterpart say sorry. Here's what Secretary Blinken had to say about that meeting. I can tell you, no, there was no apology. Uh, but what I can also tell you is this was an opportunity to speak very clearly and very directly about the fact that China sent a surveillance balloon uh, over our territory, violating our sovereignty, violating uh, international law. And I told him quite simply that that was unacceptable and can never happen again. Well, that is a very uh, tense meeting, uh, clearly, and things are very difficult right now between China and the United States, no question. No doubt. So much happening around the globe right now. Janice and Dan, thank you both for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.